Okay, so I wanted to quickly run through the AMD FX series processors. Now these have the AM3 Plus socket with the 32 nanometer uh, manufacturing process. They also all have the unlocked clock multiplier, allowing them to be overclocked. They also include the AMD Overdrive technology, which is basically just a turbo mode that allows for a little bit more juice to be pulled um, and allows for a little bit of automatic overclocking. First up in the 4000 series is the FX4100 with four cores, a base clock at 3.6 gigahertz with a 3.8 gigahertz turbo mode enabled from the factory. Next we have the 4130, very similar four cores, 3.8 gigahertz base clock and with just a 3.9 gigahertz turbo mode. Then we have the 4300, again with four cores and 3.8 gigahertz with a 4.0 gigahertz turbo mode from the factory as well. And then last but not least, the 4350 with four cores. And here we have the 4.2 gigahertz with a 4.3 gigahertz turbo mode. Now on to the 6000 series, starting off with the 6100. Now this one has six cores with a base clock of 3.3 gigahertz and a turbo mode of 3.9. Then the 6200 also has six cores with a higher base clock of 3.8 gigahertz and this one will overdrive to 4.1 gigahertz with the included turbo mode. Then we have the 6300, also six cores with a 3.5 gigahertz base clock. This one includes the 3.8 gigahertz turbo mode enabled from the factory. And then last but not least in the 6000 series, the 6350, again with six cores, 3.9 gigahertz base, 4.2 gigahertz turbo drive. So now we're starting to get into some of the higher end cards. Now we're up into the 8-core technology with the FX8000 series, starting with the 8320E. And that E just means it has a lower base clock, basically. And this one has a 3.2 gigahertz base with the 4.0 gigahertz turbo uh, enabled. Then we have the 8320 without the E. And what this, as you'll see here, what this means is with the 8 cores, we start out at 3.5 gigahertz, and then we have an overdrive mode that'll take us to 4.0 gigahertz. Then onto the 8350. Now this is one of the most popular um, FX series uh, chips. It has eight cores that start at four gigahertz and then have the overdrive technology kick it up to 4.2. And then we have the 8370E. Again with eight cores, base clock of 3.3 gigahertz with the 4.3 gigahertz turbo mode. And then last but not least, we have the 8370 with the eight core at four gigahertz with the overdrive capability of up to 4.3 gigahertz with the turbo mode. And finally, we have the 9000 series starting with the 9370. Now what's important to note about these cards is they've been bumped up to 220 watts on the TDP. This means they absolutely require liquid cooling to keep them stable. And this you'll see here with the 4.4 gigahertz base clock with, and then turbo mode up to 4.7 gigahertz. They really require that extra cooling. And then last but certainly not least, requiring Probably the most advanced cooling is the 9590. Again, with the eight cores, but we have 4.7 gigahertz on the base clock with all the way up to a 5.0 gigahertz turbo mode enabled. And again, this requires liquid cooling to keep it stable. If you were to try to cool this with just your standard CPU fan, it would definitely run hot and possibly damage the CPU and possibly other components as well. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this informative and a little entertaining. I am by no means an expert, so please, if you find any errors in this video, please comment below. I did this as much for myself to learn as much as I did for, um, you know, to make this video to inform you. So it is a learning experience, and I'm sure I got a few things wrong. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe.